Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. Girl, it is like a billion degrees in here in New York. I have the air on and it's still a thousand degrees. So <clears throat> Malcolm went for his day of beauty. He went for his day of beauty today. They even gave him this fancy look, this little fancy Petco bandana. Fancy. Smells like dog. Anyway, Malcolm, I need a sippy sippy here. It is so hot. Anyway, that's diet green tea. Um, he's enjoying his donut bed right now. So Malcolm went for his day of beauty and <coughs> I'm going to take you along with us. And you're going to see what we did at least part of the day. It's hot out. But it's an exciting day. Because today is the day that Malcolm gets his bath. Who's excited to get their coolie cleaned? They're going to clean all over. They're going to clean your coolie. What are you doing? Are you excited? Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? He's excited. So Malcolm is at uh, Petco getting groomed. I got a phone call from them. I don't know if he's done or not. So I tried calling them back. They didn't leave a voicemail. So I'm going to go there. I did pick up another bowl set to keep at my mom's house. I had to get the one that was the darker wood for $29.99 because they didn't have this height in the, the light wood. So I got this. And then I'll just show you the other thing that I got for Malcolm is this uh, pillow uh, to keep at my mom's house. This is by Mac and Molly. And this was $9.99. So he'll have a pillow bed there. All right, look at Malcolm. He's a handsome man. He's a handsome man. Look, they give him this little fancy bandana that says Petco on it. Look, show me a fancy bandana. Look at that. How humiliating. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you about what they said about Malcolm. Go sit down. Go sit down. Okay, so he was supposed to get the full treatment, which came out to like $84. But I warned her that, you know, he doesn't bite. But, you know, if you try to touch his feet, he doesn't like it. So she said she tried to cut his nails and he wouldn't let her cut his nails. So now we're going to go to a different Petco. The Petco that I went to last time, which ironically, this Petco was closer to me. Last time I went to the Petco that was further from me because when I booked the appointment, I made a mistake and booked it further away. That woman didn't have a problem doing Malcolm's nails. This woman, she said, I'm afraid that he's going to bite me and I don't want, you know, either one of us to get hurt or whatever. I said, can't you, you know, you put that collar thing around him when he's, when you're washing him. And, um, she said, yeah, but he's still, he's not going for it. I said, can you use like a buzzer instead of like a clipper? She said, she tried everything and he doesn't want his nails cut and they're starting to get super long and starting to curve over. So let's see if the woman at Avenue Y can do it. Uh, and uh we'll uh we'll check we'll check so now the same lady that trimmed malcolm's butt hair last time is going to cut his nails and we'll see how this comes out this time and then we'll come to her from now on because obviously she knows what she's doing right look at malcolm being a good man he's being a good man Okay, so that lady at that other Petco uh, was able to cut his nails. He did give her a little bit of a fight, but she knew how to deal with him. 
and uh, she was able to cut his nails because they told me, I don't know if I said this before, that the woman said she could have cut his nails because he would go to nip at her. Not that he'd actually bite her, but he would go near her. So she said, if you leave the, I said, well, how bad are his nails? And she said, well, if you leave this for another month, they're going to start to curve over and they're going to hurt his feet. So then I was like, okay, so what do I do? And then she's like, well, I can refer you to a groomer. And I was like, well, if he's going to bite you, then wouldn't he bite this other groomer? And she's like, well, they would sedate him. And I was like, no, I don't want to have him sedated. So I was like, can you call the other Petco and I'll take him there? Because the reason I didn't go to the other Petco, one, it's further away, but also they didn't have appointments until the following week, until next week. And I wanted to get Malcolm, you know, the full treatment as soon as possible. So the woman at the other Petco, she said that this first Petco, uh, they're not as experienced and they do have some issues. Um, they, she said, the first woman said that Malcolm was you know great the only thing that he gave her a problem with was his feet and then they give you an option of giving them a, a spritz at the end of whatever scent you choose so i chose ocean breeze it was a they had all different ones and i was like oh calming waves or ocean breeze and she's like i like ocean breeze better and then she's, she's like can you smell it on him i don't smell anything i smell malcolm so there was that and then of course after uh, you, you know, here's the thing. So she didn't charge me for the toes, the toe foot ear combo, whatever it was. So instead of the bill coming out to $84, it came out to $55 and you have to pay the bill first before they give you the dog. So the guy was like, do you want to leave a tip? They never asked me that before. Cause usually I don't tip them. I don't, I just feel like anyway. I just a thing I figure it's included but he asked if I wanted to tip her so I gave her five dollars because she's like she didn't do I mean she did a good job but it she gave me an inconvenience of having to travel in the heat to the other Petco and you know how much Malcolm hates the heat because he can't breathe so anyway um, and then when I went to pay for the grooming the guy at the counter was like do you have the app the Petco app and I was like no but I log in online because that's how I made the appointment. And he's like, well, you should really use the app because you can get 20% off your visit today. So we did that. So I got 20% off my visit and it still came out to $55 or whatever it was. Um, and I think, it, I don't know, somewhere around there. So then she's like, um, will you take him to the other Petco? Uh, they're gonna charge you $20 for the nail grooming. So I went to the other Petco and I got that, that same woman that I had last time that did his grooming. And so she was like, I said to her, how much? And she said, oh, there's no charge. So I was like, you know what? I gave her $15 because it was going to cost me 20. I gave her the 15 and I said, here, you take this because, you know, he really needed his nails uh, trimmed and I, you know, nobody else could do it. And you did a really good job and didn't hurt him and wasn't afraid of him. Um, the more he would fidget, the more she just put like these uh, harnesses around them, around his, uh, you know, around his neck, around his uh, torso. Uh, the more he fidget, the more she would add uh, a harness. Um, there, the first Petco, there was a person when I was picking up Malcolm, and the woman was explaining to me how she couldn't cut his nails because um, he tried to nip at her. The woman after, the woman that was going to drop off her dog, and she had a big dog, um, like. I don't want to say the size of a German Shepherd, about that tall, but not as much hair. I don't know what kind of dog it was. So the husband of the wife, of the wife with the dog heard, overheard our conversation. And he's like, oh, they don't, they can't cut nails. What are we here for? They don't know what they're doing. Every dog doesn't like their, their, their nails clipped. Our dog is not going to let her cut the nails. You need to put a muzzle on him. And she's like, we don't muzzle the dogs. And the guy's like, let's. Uh, we cancel in the appointment. We're leaving. We're leaving. Let's go. We're leaving now. And he, he was not having it. He was not having it. He left and he was not a happy camper. He was a un very unhappy pappy. So yeah, him and his wife and the dog left. So anyway, I dropped off Malcolm at home. I filled up his bowl all the way to the top. Well, not all the way to the top, but full with some fresh cold water. 
no ice cubes because you're not supposed to drop your dog's temperature too fast because it can twist their stomach it's this condition so I gave him some cold water and food and I put the air conditioner on for him I gave him his new fluffy donut bed I decided to give him that yellow pillow that I was gonna give my mom it looks a little too small I threw out his old bed and his duty pillow bed um, the one with the duty emojis which I could never find again because he's had it for years and it's like it's time to get a new pet pillow so I'm gonna go to five below and see how much they're selling the pet pillows for and pick up one for my mom's house and one for my house so he'll have three beds so he has the, whatever one of his choosing Meanwhile, if it's too hot, he just lies on the floor anyway because he likes the cool of the floor. So, that was that. Oh, did I tell you he pooped on the floor in Petco? After the first woman, in, in the first Petco where the woman couldn't cut his nails, uh, she he, uh, he pooped on the floor. Yeah. A big, big giant duty. So, that was nice. So, she picked it up. And it smelled like duties. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm off to Five Below to see what they have. And then I got to go pick up my mom and she's going to be like, what the hell took so long? It was because I had to go to two Petco's. And then I had to drop off Malcolm and make sure he was okay. So. Okay, so Five Below did, <coughs> did not have any pet pillows. They only had crate mats, you know, like if you, whatever, but it's kind of a pet pillow. So I got this pet crate mat uh, for Malcolm. They had different colors. They have pink. I wasn't going to get them pink. I was tempted, but. So that was $5. I only picked up one. If there was larger, if they had larger, I would have got two, but I only got one. It's $5. And my mom has been letting Malcolm sleep on this terry cloth blanket, which he pees on it. I don't know why. Maybe he's like marking it for himself. He doesn't do that at home. Um, so she always has to wash it. So the thing is, if he pees on this, it's like $5. So whatever, you know, we'll toss it. But I just want to see how he reacts to this. So now I'm going to, uh, <coughs> I'm going to go get my mom because I know she's got some errands to run. <clears throat> so how was your day, Malcolm? <laughs> Did you have a nice day, but she was all clean? There's one bed over there. And then his other bed's over there. There's all his toys. Are you spoiled rotten today? Do you feel better now that you all clean and they cleaned your coolie? Do you excited? Cause you're a handsome man. You're not a senior. You're a handsome man. Right? Cause you're a handsome man. Do you like your new food balls? Do you smell like ocean breeze? Which they give you that spray smell like ocean breeze. You smell like ocean breeze? Where's, who's a happy Malcolm? Right, oh, wag the coolie. Shake the coolie. Are you feeling better now? Cause you're a clean Malcolm. <clears throat> Look, somebody is spoiled rotten in their new fluffy bed. Who likes their new fluffy bed? Who is so clean and handsome? What do you think, Malcolm? Do you like the bed? You thinking about it? You're not sure? You're like, <clears throat> Mama, what is this fluffy donut? you like the fluffy donut? We check on you later. What's in there? It looks like a donut, but does not taste like a donut. So as you can see, I have Malcolm's little food set up here in the kitchen. He's got plenty of water. He didn't eat all his food. I think it's because the bowl is bigger, so I put more food than usual. 
but he's got his little setup going there, spoiled. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but the groomer said she had to brush Malcolm for a half hour straight to get out all the undercoat and all the extra hair. She's like, I can't believe how much this dog sheds and how much hair he grows on his butt. He definitely needed, and I know what they, I know what this means in England, but it means something different here. <clears throat> they call it a fanny trim. In England, fanny means your JJ, but here fanny means your buttocks. So his buttocks were extra hairy. So he needed to have a, a, a butt trim. So anyway, here's the finished product. Look, he's sticking his tongue out. Me. Malcolm is a handsome, handsome man now. Malcolm, they say that this year you become a senior. How are you feeling? They supposed to spray you with ocean spritz. You still smell like a Malcolm. You still smell like a duty. Did they clean all your wrinkles? How do you feel? Do you feel beautiful and luxurious and handsome and clean? Do you feel special with your new bed, your new bowls, your new pillows? Why are you giving me raspberries right now? Why are you giving me raspberries? Did you drink enough water? I left you enough water. Did you drink the water? Huh? Was you panting today? Can you put the tongue away? Can you put that away? Can you put this away? Can you put that away? Put that away. Thank you. You tired. You just want to go to sleep in your donut. You smell like a duty. Why is it that no matter how much you wash a dog, and I told them to wash him really good, and you could tell, you could tell, well, I don't know if you could tell, but his coat, his coat is, is, extra, is extra shiny. He doesn't have any of that doggy dandruff. And even though I told them, <clears throat> to scrub him thoroughly and even though they have this after spritz which you can choose many fragrances they have like papaya um ocean mist ocean breeze uh vanilla whatever they have right even though you can i didn't they didn't have doggy cologne and i wouldn't want to put that on him but they have all these like spritzes right so i got the ocean breeze thank you so interested in what I have to say. No matter how much, <coughs> no matter how much they clean this dog, he will always smell like a dog. He just smells like a dog. He doesn't smell like shampoo. He doesn't smell like freshness. He still smells like a dog. Why? And don't say it's because he is a dog. He always, he just smells like a dog. What can I do to make him not smell like a dog? Can he smell like something else? Can you smell like something else? Was you my co-pilot? Are you my co-pilot? Co you know, pug hugs really do help. If you ever have a bad day, feeling lonely, Pug love. You still smell like a duty. But pug hugs do help. How about thank... Whoa. <clears throat> All right, here, you go ahead. How about thank you, Mama, for having my coolie cleaned? How about that? He got dog hair on me. He's coughing up a hairball. How about that? How about thank you, Mama? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram 
at shopping and sense and make sure you stay tuned to my ta my channel my channel my channel for more malcolm fabulousness and i will see you next time but until then goodbye everyone out there in youtube land